At the end, you have to use SOEs. Yes? What's the question? Yes, in English, of course, there are some exceptions. I will tell you tomorrow about these exceptions, but today I have to teach you about present perfect tense. Okay? In this. Uh, of course, Red and Martin you can go through. It's really very much complete book. You can have through and through knowledge from there, from that book. That's really very much brilliant book, you know. I have also studied uh, through that book in my time. Okay. So, I would like to teach you about... Present. Perfect. <coughs> tense. I need one marker. A marker de you. If you talk in Hindi, the last word of Hindi will come like liya hai, liya hai, gaya hai, khaya hai, piya hai, soya hai, tick, chuka hai, chuki hai, chuki hai. Ye is the hand of the Lord's name. In this sense, we will talk about two subjects. One is called the singular and plural. Singular and plural. In singular, we talk about he, she, it, name of a person. Remember, in singular we have got only four subjects. He, she, name of a person. With these subjects, we always use the single form, has. And we always use the third form of the verb, and plus o, means object. Clear? You have to remember this. Like, let me give you the example. And she is, has. She has. C double O K E D code. If you remove this E D, this is the first form. Yeah. When you use this E D here, so this will become third form. So she has cooked food. The sentence will be in Hindi. Usne khana bana liya hai. Ya wo khana bana chuki hai. Same. It depends on you how you take it. Clear? So he. She has cooked food. Now you have to change only the verb. She has washed her clothes. She has sent her children to school. She has gone to her school. She has gone to her office. She has received my call. She has bought a new mobile. She has, has applied for a new job here in our school. Remember? So, we always talk about has and plus third form of the verb remember in this tense. This tense is called the present perfect tense. In this tense, we talk about the perfection of a task. Perfection of our verb. Clear? Now, it. It has. <coughs> it has. Broken. Down. Something which fails to work. Which is not a natural deity. Then we will say it has broken down. This is a kind of the end. Oh, it has broken down. It has. It has failed. It has worked properly. Computer ne print de diya to printer ne. It has printed many pages. Clear? <coughs> now, we talk about David. David has Fallen. Where? David has fallen. Where? In love. Yes. David has taken admission in RCA, Presidential Coaching Academy. One more thing. We know, never say, some people say, people say Academy. No. Some people say Academy. No. We always say Academy. What we say? Okay. This one. Okay. Danny. You have to always say again. So, David has gone. David has gone. David has taken his flight. Battled over here. David has gone to Abroad. David has gone abroad. David has sat over there in abroad. Remember? Clear. So like was the singular, we have to talk about the plural one also. Let me love this one. <coughs> In
In plural, I is the exceptional. We talk about we, you, they, names of people, two people and then more people, more than two. One more thing. In noun, when you study about the noun, countable noun and uncountable noun, you will also study these words, police, people, team, football team, cricket team. These words are plural in itself. Police, you will think it's a singular. No, police, police is a plural word. People is a plural word. So you have to always use plural form with police, with people, with team, these kinds of words. Clear? Which go together. Now, names. So I was talking about I, we, you, they, names. Remember only one thing, including I. We always use have. Clear? I have. You have. They have. Names. And remember. Third form of the verb and plus object. I. I have. I have gone. I have gave, given up smoking. Clear? I have laughed. I have already used fantasy. I have already taken food. I have studied this book. Uh, of course. Aha uh -huh is an English book. Aha. Uh -huh. Only A or H you have to write. Aha. Uh Aha -huh. uh -huh is an English word. Yes. These words, yeah, well, aha. Uh -huh. These words are spoken by English people just to have some breathe. To think about the next sentence. Yes, certain feelings, expressions, their emotions, their notions. But if you are using had, you will go in past. Okay, no problem. See, this let me tell you. Have is the first form. Clear? Yes, and second form of the have is had and third form of the verb is have. Clear? Yes, sir. Yes, sir.